our key message uh, it's really that at this stage uh, the, the outbreak of, of cholera uh, can be actually defined as being limited to very specific areas in the county. The, the, the beginning of the year where it was Johannesburg and, and later a little bit in Eguruleni, we have not seen any new cases. So in, in Gauteng, we can say those parts of Gauteng which had an early uh, cases, we have not seen any. In the uh, Twani metro, even even here, uh, it's been largely in the Hamanskral area, and even there in, in, in the Hamanskral area, as, as we have indicated, the uh, Ganana area has been uh, the major mini epicenter on its own. In the Free State as well, uh, there was just the Mwate municipality, um, and as, as we have indicated, there's been no new cases reported uh, since the 23rd of May. Totally in the case of the Tuane Metro, the total confirmed cases as we stand now uh, is 99 uh, confirmed through laboratory, uh, confirmed by the National Institute of Communicable Diseases. In the, in the last seven, I mean in the last 24 hours, there were, new, uh, there were seven new cases which were confirmed uh, of cholera. Uh, seven, I mean three of those were specimens which came from Jubilee Hospital. One was from the number one military hospital. Uh, one uh, specimen uh, was a patient from Eugene Marais Life, also here in the city. One specimen was from Netcare Montana. And the last uh, case uh, specimen was from OD uh, Community Hospital, uh, uh, also in the north of the city. So what we are significant to say at this stage is that uh, there is even in this epicenter uh, of Tswane and also Amanskral, uh, there is definitely through the various interventions, uh, the health uh, education, the health messages, um, one, there is a definite decline in terms of uh, overall diarrhea cases. Secondly, in terms of uh, those confirmed, even those of, of diarrhea, in, in, in terms of serious illness, very significant decline. People are coming early, even those who have symptoms, they are treated and we are not having any, even in Jubilee Hospital as we speak, there are no seriously ill patients. The few who had been there the previous week have been attended to. Some were transferred to Steve Vigo Hospital and others to George Mukari and many of those have already been discharged. So there is definite downward trend, even in terms of uh, just the uh, diarrhea generally and also in terms of cholera itself, in terms of serious illnesses, illness. Again, also in terms of severity, therefore, in terms of uh, any reported uh, uh, deaths, uh, as I've indicated, in the last seven days, there have been only two deaths uh, from last Wednesday up to yesterday, only uh, two deaths. And, uh, and I'm, I'm quite certain that those were also in the latter part of the last seven days, uh, from the Saturday. Of, of last week, and since the beginning of this week, we have not had any report of any new deaths. So at this stage, uh, from a health point of view, we want to to thank, you know, all the parties which have been uh, we've been working together uh, with colleagues from the municipality, from the province, which is quite keen provision of services, from the World Health Organization, the NICD and also at community level, very good cooperation in terms of the councillors uh, in, in the Amanskral and also uh, specifically in the, um, in the Kanana uh, local area. So we are noticing very promising trend in terms of uh, very uh, steep downwards trend and we are, we are optimistic that sooner rather than later the situation will be contained.